Before we go further, though. Get the string, because, uh. It's just kind of crazy right now. But Apple has asked the court to order Epic Games to pay Apple upwards of $73 million in legal costs. Basically, there's no technical win here, but this, this case has been going on for a while. So look, support court rejects Epic versus Apple antitrust case. Supreme Court has denied a request to hear an antitrust dispute between Apple and Fortnite publisher Epic Games. It rejected two petitions, one from each company this morning, leaving the case largely but not entirely a win for Apple. So, I mean, there was a little bit of win for Apple. I mean, this case has been going on since 2020. It's been four years, actually. Holy, that's kind of crazy. And I like how they have to mention Fortnite publisher. Like Fortnite, like Epic Games doesn't make other games like Alan Wake. Anyways. Epic versus Apple began in 2020 after Epic implemented its own payment system for Fortnite's virtual currency, bypassing Apple's commission on in-app purchases. Apple banned Epic from its iOS App Store and Epic filed a lawsuit in response, claiming the App Store and Apple's over, overall walled garden approach to iOS violated U.S. antitrust laws. Judge Yuvine Gonzalez Rogers rejected most of Apple's claims in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, largely affirmed the decision. So that basically means that when this was going on and apple was saying you know we're not violating no laws uh the judge was you know rejecting them but epic was you know saying they didn't buy they didn't cross the terms of service terms you know their privacy policy or anything like that they they were just trying to pay for in my opinion yeah apple's gonna win here because if you think of other mobile games or other mobile apps any in-app purchases need to be purchased on the App Store. I don't think there's any app right now in the App Store on iOS that you, allows you to purchase in-app currency or in-app purchases from the from the company itself. It has to be through the App Store. So the Apple can, you know, generate some of that re revenue as well while also giving a percentage to that, to that publisher. But even so, both ru rulings found out that Apple had acted anti-competitively by barring developers from telling users about other payment methods. Apple was ordered to tell them to allow links and other calls to action that would bypass Apple's payment system, discontinuing what are known as anti-steering policies. But the company spent years delaying parts of the change with legal appeals, winning a reprieve while the Supreme Court considered the case. Today's denial seemingly runs out the clock, requiring Apple to reconsider the future of its anti-steering rules. So currently, so going back to this, Apple lost basically this lawsuit. That was just the background for y'all to know. They lost the lawsuit. So now Apple is asking Epic Games to pay $73 million in legal costs for all that was going on for four years. What that means for us, the Fortnite nigga. What that means for us, Fortnite crew? We getting new skins. They dropping stuff. They have to be to make this bread. They want this bread? Release the skins that we want. Release the skins that we want, and I will help y'all pay these legal fees. Give us the skins we want. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Uh, Bring back old battle passes. So I can get Darth Vader, Deadpool. Bring back the rare skins, and people will buy it. And you will get your money back. Yeah, it's crazy. Epic Games lost that. Um, they're rich though. Epic Games has billions, maybe millions of dollars. I mean, that's gonna probably cause a dent in their uh, in the revenue. So I mean, we might be getting new skins like these people are saying. We get a year of Fortnite OG with all the old battle passes returning. Let's go! Like we are getting shit back, chat. Look at the item shop for the next week. The rarest skins forever. Travis Scott, World Warrior, Brilliant Bomber, like all of these people, bro. Look at the UI used to be like too, by the way, chat. The UI used to be so clean. I mean, it is clean now, but still, the UI has changed. Everything's changed on the UI. It's like a Warzy. But yeah, um, 